This is WGN Television, Channel 9, Chicago. show. I'm glad you could join us this morning here on Treetop House. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to take a trip to the post office and some exotic parrots and some beautiful birds are coming to visit us. And I'd like to thank all the girls and boys at home who've been writing to me lately. I re I've received a lot of mail from you and it's really nice to get your pleasant letters every day. Thank you so much and I hope you'll continue to write to me. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Well, hello. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you, Mr. Mailman? Fine. I have a very important letter for you to sign for today. Okay. You sign right You'd there, like me please? to sign right here? Yes. And how are all you little kitties today? Fine. Fine. Good. I just put my name, Tasha Johnson, Treetop House, WGN-TV. Is that okay? That's wonderful. Chicago, Illinois. I'd like to introduce you to all my friends at home. Could you stay a while and talk to us? Why, certainly. Okay, boys and girls, this is Mr. Samuels, our postman for Treetop House. And Mr. Samuels, meet all the girls and boys at home. How and are also you? Jackie, How and are you? Butch, Hello. and Hi. Gary, and Corey. Hi, boy. Why don't you come on over here and talk oh, to okay. us? Okay. Would you like to come over here and sit on the rug? And let's talk to Mr. Samuels. Would you like to have a seat, Mr. Sanders? Right, certainly. I see you have a big, heavy pouch. Yes, it's quite loaded today, too. Is it really heavy, or does it just look heavy? It is really heavy. How much does it weigh? Well, when I started at 35, it's down to about 22 pounds now. 22 pounds? 22 pounds. And that's how much it weighs every day? Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, let's look inside your pouch and see what you have in there. All righty. Oh, I have a package here. And five or six bottles of mail, and of course my magazines. They're very heavy, but we have to deliver them. Oh my goodness. And of course some circulars. Could we show the boys and girls at home what well, the inside certainly. of a mailman's pouch looks like? Can you see that? All right, Jackie and Corey, if you sit down, the boys and girls at home can see. And then we'll give you a peek too. Let's there. See that? We have a flap here for very bad weather. When it rains or... When it rains or snows, so your mail won't get wet. Oh, that's nice. How many blocks a day do you travel? Oh, we average about 22, 23 blocks. So you just have a certain area where you... Yes, have we have it. the same route every day. Uh-huh. Do you get very tired? Oh, yes, but once we get off, we always take our shoes off and rest. <laughs> oh, really? Definitely. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. So postmen get tired feet. Oh, definitely. We do it for about 30 years, and we sit down and rest, and after retirement, we go for walks. <laughs> That's really interesting. Butch just got back from the Philippines. He went there on a nice little trip over the holidays, right, Butch? And he was asking how long it would take if he wanted to write us, send a letter to one of his friends that he met in the Philippines. How long would it take, about a week or a month or? Well, by air, we should be able to expect delivery in about three or four days. 
if it goes by boat, maybe 10 to 14 days. So if you get an airmail stamp and put on the envelope, it, it only flies. takes it flies and it that's takes three right. or four days. That's, right. that's pretty. That's pretty fast. Well, we're proud of the service. We all are. Do you have any questions you'd like to ask our friendly postman, Jackie? Well, like when we get our mail in the office, like when you send us a letter. We love that letter that you sent us. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. She, Jackie, just said that. Um, she really liked the letter that I sent her to invite her to be on Treetop House. And we'd like to tell all the boys and girls at home, too, that if you'd like to be on Treetop House, just send a letter through the post office to me, Tasha Jansen, in care of Treetop House, WGN-TV, Chicago, 60618. And we'll see if you can't be on the show. Do you have any other questions you'd like to ask the postman? I have one. What about shipping animals through the mail? That's a no-no. You don't ship animals through the mail? No, <laughs> we can't do that because we don't have the facility to feed the animals, and sometimes handling the mail, it gets kind of rough, and we don't, we don't want to hurt them. Oh, so usually people send dogs and cats and things like that through Railway Express or Air Perhaps, Freight, yes. something like that, and that's not handled by the post office? No, very rarely. What about special delivery letters? Can you tell us a little bit about those? Well, yes, there are special classification of letters, sometimes packages, which uh, are delivered immediately. They don't have to wait for your regular mailman. In fact, the regular carrier very seldom will handle specials. That is a special section of the post office oh. here in Chicago. Yes. So special mailmen handle special things. That's correct. You're a letter carrier? Letter carrier, that's my official title, but I handle just about everything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have special uh, mailmen who are special delivery... Delivery messengers. Messengers. Yes. They, uh, they make more rounds than we do. We only uh, make one round. The special delivery makes up to four deliveries a day. Oh. And you work six days a week. Six days a week. Oh, that's a lot of time to be on your feet. Well, when you're traveling through the city care delivering mail do you run into a lot of birds and squirrels and dogs and cats definitely we have no idea what we're going to meet when we leave the station <laughs> that's very funny <laughs> well i'd like to play a thinking game with my friends here at treetop house and my all of my friends at home put on your thinking caps i'm thinking of a beautiful bird that Mr. Samuels probably won't see when he delivers the mail each day because it's a tropical bird. It's from maybe Africa or South America or Central America and it has beautiful feathers and a long hook bill. Do you know which type of bird I'm thinking about? Parrot? Didn't hear you, Corey. Nice and loud. A parrot, that's right. And let's meet some parrots. 